COVID-19 has changed life as we know it. It has forced us to practice social distancing, live in isolation and has shut down cities, offices and schools across the globe. The 2020 school and university schedules have been disrupted and learners and students are still unable to return to their classrooms as the virus continues to spread. The SABC has always believed in enriching minds and enriching lives and this is why they have launched a brand new education channel to help learners and students during this difficult time. General Manager for SABC Television, Mr. David Makubiane, joins us via video call to tell us more. A very good morning to you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, Kutle. Um, thank you for having me as well. I mean, can you please tell us on which platforms exactly will the brand new education channel be available? So the SABC Education Channel is available on uh, multiple platforms. Uh, it's a digital terrestrial channel, so it'll, it's on DGT uh, boxes, those that have. There are about over 411,000 uh, boxes out there. Um, you can also catch it if you've got a smart TV you just, and a, DT, a digital tuner, you can tune and catch it. We are also in discussions with uh, pay platforms uh, that will hold hopefully carry um, the, you know, that will carry the channel. Mm. Um, and it will also be streaming on our SABC education stream. Mm. It's a great platform for students all over South Africa, but which grades will the SABC education channel target? Will both primary and high school as well as tertiary education students benefit from it? Yeah, I think that in the beginning, we're going to be focusing primarily on grade 10, grade 11 uh, and grade 12s. Um, the, we are in discussions with tertiary institutions as well um, to cover that content. But the channel um, ultimately is going to have content for all the grades, we hope. Um, starting from uh, early, early childhood development, ECD, right through to tertiary. But at the moment, because of the COVID focus, really um, the Department of Education is focusing mainly on grade 10, 11 and 12, and we are supporting that. Grade 10, 11 and 12, the seniors um, of our education system. But what content will the education channel cover and who will be providing this content exactly? So the content that is running on the educational channel is a lot of it is curriculum based. Mm -hmm. um, so we are, you know, obviously getting the uh, curriculum guides from the department, um, and the teachers are following the, the the curriculum as it is. So that's that's the key. And then secondly, we've got um, informal knowledge building content uh, infused with entertainment. Um, so similar shows that we would normally have on our SABC 1, 2 channels that are educational, but you find that they take on the formats of um, either, you know, factual talk show and so on. So we would have that sort of content. Some of the content is our content that we've been producing as SABC. Um, a lot of the content, the fresh content, is content that is provided to us by the DBE, um, and they are, you know, um, shooting it and and dropping, uh, uh, providing us with the content. We also have some content that we are shooting in studio at our studios here at Henley. Mm. Will the content on the SABC Education Channel be available in African languages as well? Yes. Um, so some of the African language uh, lessons um, and also some of the content will be in African languages, uh, especially the, the content that is similar to what we normally have on our SFC 1, 2 channels. It will continue in the same fashion. Most of the content will be in English, however. I love that because also it provides access to people who speak, you know, different languages as well. Um, will this channel help to alleviate some of the pressure on the curriculum now that schools and universities can't operate as normal? Yes, I think that's the, the, the objective of having the channel. Um, uh, a lot of students have been affected, uh, they're at home, but one of the things that they do have is they've got access to their TV sets. Um, they've got access to, you know, they can watch uh, content. But also just to say that it's not just for this COVID period. Uh, we were always planning to have, because education is part of our mandate in terms of delivery, we were planning to have this channel. So it's a channel that will continue continue, um, even post the, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Mm. 
Now, the success and viability of this campaign is dependent on sponsorships. How far are you with securing funding and how can people, you know, at home or the public, how can they assist? So, I mean, currently uh, we would like to have partners. Uh, sometimes it's not just funding, it's also how we can assist. The one thing that I would ask uh, people at home, uh, the parents uh, especially, is for them to pay TV licenses. If, if the TV license is paid, that's the sort of money that we can use to deliver such mandated content. I mean, this platform is also very necessary for, you know, the students, not only during this period, as you've mentioned, but also going above and beyond. And one way that we can assist as the public is by um, paying our TV licenses. Thank you so much to the general manager for SABC Television, Mr. David Makubiane, for shedding light on how our youth will still get the education they need during this crisis. I hope that you have a fantastic morning further, sir. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Claire, and uh, to you too and the team right there. Um, cheers.